Hi everyone, we're here at the Innovate Finance Global Summit. I'm delighted to be joined by Gilbert Viridian, who is the founder and CEO of Quant. So, Gilbert, what brings you to the summit today? Great to be here. Um, we're a London fintech, and this is the epicenter of financial services. Um, and what we really love about this conference is you have regulators, institutions, fintechs, and the public all in the one place bringing together the epicenter of financial services again. And what topic or theme was especially important for you guys today? We're here because we're innovators in blockchain and interoperability, but more importantly, CBDCs. So we've been working with central banks to really innovate and bring together uh, technology as, as a CBDC and what it means for a payment system or a financial system across the world. And how does Quant relate to central bank digital currencies exactly? Um, we're the platform and the infrastructure that central banks and commercial banks can use to implement, pilot and test CBDCs um, and tokenized assets uh, in an interoperable way. And so if we think of me or just any ordinary end user, why, why would I be interested in the central bank digital currency instead of just sending pounds, euros, whatever, electronically? I think as um, end users and consumers uh, of money, um, we're, we're using a system that's quite antiquated and it's built on legacy technology and legacy infrastructure. So what central bank digital currencies mean for us is a new form of money that's very digital um, and it can actually do things that our previous type of money can't do. So, I mean, what kinds of things, for example? Um, money of tomorrow, which is where, where we're heading, is able to create uh, new products and new payment flows that enables us to create logic around it. So what that really means is if you want to send something uh, to another party, you can remove all the risk, uh, create conditions like if this happens, then release the money or take the tax out as I'm paying the money. So it really automates a lot of business workflows and consumer needs. So if I was standing here from a traditional big bank, do you think I should be a little bit worried? No, uh, they're the innovators. So the big banks uh, in the UK, Europe and the US, they're the ones leading the drive towards CBDCs because they're actually starting to implement what that means to their payment systems and to their infrastructure. And I think some people on the libertarian right are slightly concerned that you know, a digital currency could somehow be switched on or off at will, depending on the central bank or the government. Do you think that's a realistic fear or is that not? No, I think that's quite a naive view of what a central bank currency can do. Um, from a regulation perspective, it's going to be the same as cash. So it will be treated as a digital form of cash. It can be used the same way as cash can be used in any transaction across the country. Um, and CBDCs actually give you more privacy than previous payment systems. So there's a lot of concern around uh, privacy and monitoring and all those sort of things. The stuff that goes on chain is not going to hold private citizen or consumer data. Uh, all of that is handled the same way as today through your commercial bank relationship. So you will have better security, better privacy, and better technology with a new form of money as a CBDC. Interesting. And then thinking about the summit itself, how would you describe it in three words? Highly innovative. It's a convergence. And I think it's, it's a global view that the UK is leading in this space. And City AM? Our newspaper, we are reaching a landmark birthday. What does it mean to you and to the fintech community more broadly? City AM we've been a fan of um, for, for quite a while and I think it's the voice of the UK and what the UK can do for the rest of the world. Excellent, and Gilbert, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.